It's a sad day for many in wrestling, in the world of wrestling. Former WWE diva Ashley Massaro passed away today at the age of 39. Ashley was the winner of the second ever Diva Search in 2005. I believe she went on to be the Playboy cover girl in either 05 or 06. And went on to even participate in Survivor China in 2007. And even competed for the women's title on the grand stage of WrestleMania 23 that same year. However, that said, her wrestling acumen is pretty lacking. She wasn't that good in the ring, as far as I can tell. From what, li from what I do remember of her matches. She was more better renowned as the valet for Paul London and Brian Kendrick when they had their year, one year-long year reign as the SmackDown WWE Tag Team Champions. In, from May of 06 till about April of 07. Though she joined the duo at the tail end of the reign. More towards the tail end of the title run. Cause of death is yet to be unknown, but cops suspect no foul play. I.e., no one snuck in and killed her, nor did she kill herself. But... I find that a little suspicious because let's look at a bit of a track record. WWE alumni who have died age ranges from their 30s up to their late 40s have had. Many of them have died by either drug overdose or their own hands or by their own hands. Don't believe me? Let me list a few names off the top of my head that fit the criteria. Brian Pillman, 34, drug overdose in 1997. Davy Boy Smith Jr., the British Bulldog. I mean, Davy Boy Smith Sr., the original British Bulldog. Morphine addiction that led to a death. Dead via a morphine addiction at 39 in 2002. And uh, oh, Eddie Guerrero, 30, 2005, 38 years old, dead from past drug from heart. From an enlarged heart failure caused by past drug addictions. He had been four years sober by that point before he died. Kurt Henning, Mr. Perfect. Cocaine addiction, 2003. Dead at the age of 44. Chris Benoit. Double homicide, suicide, caused by depression in, in 2007 at the age of 40. Killing not just him, but his second wife, Nancy Woman Benoit, 43, and their 7-year-old son, Daniel. And I know that na his name is taboo. Is considered taboo by the, wrestling, by the world of wrestling. But someone has to bring up bring that up. Mike Awesome, five months prior, suicide at the age of 42. Andrew Tess Martin, two years later, suicide. I think he was 40 or 41 when he took his own life. Bam, Scott Bam Bam Bigelow, 45, dead of a drug overdose. It's in 2007. And yeah, I'm not going in order with these. And yes, I know I am not going in chronological order with any of these, but my point still stands. Daniel Bravo, 34, murdered in 1993. 
Well, okay, scratch Dino's. Crash Holly, Michael Lockwood, choked on his own vomit in 2003 at the age of 32 or 3 years old. Sean O'Hare, suicide, 2009, 10 or 11, I don't know, 2014. Late, mid to late 40s. Chris Canyon. Well, actually, I'm not sure if he's still alive, but... In any case... The majority of these wrestlers, the bulk of these wrestlers I've mentioned, have died due to either drug addiction, if not all of them, died due to drug addictions past or up to the point, or the, to the point they went belly up, or they killed themselves. I know people will call me out as being a nihilist in this case, being a bit of a dark-minded it pessimist. But I'm just being a realist in this case. As to what could have... How Miss Massaro could have died. <sighs> Ashley, you were... A, one of New York's brightest girls. Almost in terms of appeal... In sex appeal and appearance, but honestly, you couldn't get it done in the ring. Anyway, rest in peace. We're gonna miss you. Like, comment, and subscribe to the video. Like the video, comment, subscribe to my channel. Goodbye and good night. Bang and Ashley, requiescat in pace.